Hi guys, in today's video I'm just going to quickly show you how you can add a notification bar or some people like to call it an announcement bar to the top of your website. Um, it looks like something like this. Uh, this over here, you can add your free delivery or um, ads or you can click to another website. Uh, you can add anything like that in it. So if we go back to WordPress, we're going to come over to plugins and we are going to click on add new. Uh, we're going to search for notification. Let's add that. Notification bar. You can click on search. Um, there's many different options that you can obviously um, choose from. Um, for today, I'm just going to go with WP Front Notification Bar. It's the simplest and the easiest. It has about over 50,000 active installations. And it works uh, as it says. You can just install and you can click on Activate. And then once that's done, we're just going to head over to the settings to us here already automatically. And then we are going to just set up a few parameters uh, to get it uh, done. So first thing, we're going to click on Enable. Preview mode. You can test whether the notification bar uh, without enabling it so that you can just see what it looks like. Um, debug mode position you can either put it to the top of the website or at the bottom you can fix it at that position um, theme sticky editor um, selector display on scroll scroll offset I'm just gonna leave all this uh, as default for now you can always um, play around if you if you need to change these settings or to close after if you if you wanted to close after a certain amount of time you can also add that in um, you can display a close button on it as well if you want uh, people to be able to close it you can display a shadow effect on it you can display a reopen button and then a reopen button image URL so there's a whole lot of uh, settings that you can actually um, configure uh, which makes it quite nice um, I'm just gonna leave it all for in, in the default for now and I'm gonna head over to to my text and then I'm just gonna add something like free delivery for orders over call it a hundred dollars so that's the text you're gonna have you can also have a button there if you want if you want um, somebody to click the button to be able to take you to another page you can just go over and click on display the button you can click you can add the text that you want there uh, I'm just going to add a something just uh, for preview purposes. I'm going to say delivery um, I'm just going to call it total just for illustration purposes button action and then you can open in a URL. So I'm just going to get a a website um, sorry um, get a it's gonna get a website and I'm gonna 
paste that in over there. And you can also add it on certain pages or not. I'm going to just leave it on all pages for now. And you can display it for certain user roles or not or as well. You can change the color, the message color, and the text color. Uh, and I'm just going to go ahead and save changes. So that's how we've done it now in its simplest form. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to click on view site. You're going to see what it looks like and that's the notification bar at the top over there. It says free delivery for orders and if you want, this is the button over here that I added, you can click on that and it will take you to a, a different website if you put in a different URL. Um, but that's it, that's how easy it is. Thanks guys for watching. Um, Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you found this helpful and you want any more videos like this. Cheers. Thanks. Bye.